We're only 15 days into hurricane season, but we are chipping away at our storm names. Bill formed on June 14th, which is about a month and a half ahead of schedule. The typical first B name storm on average from 1966 to 2009 is August 1st. So way ahead of schedule there. As of the five o'clock in the morning advisory, winds are at 50 miles per hour. We're noticing less thunderstorm activity, those red shadings indicating thunderstorm growth. So I'm definitely not looking at any additional strengthening with Bill, at least tropical organization going to start diminishing with Bill. Now, as we head into Wednesday, it's going to be potentially a rainmaker for the Canadian provinces, but at that point, it won't be tropical anymore. And our attention is now going to turn to Invest 92L in the southern Gulf of Mexico, not expected to develop on your Tuesday or Wednesday, but beyond that, a 70% chance, so a high chance of development. And both models do have this developing into something organized, whether it becomes the next name on the list or not, we'll have to wait and see. But Certainly looks like Louisiana and Mississippi, potentially Alabama, getting in on, at the very least, some big soakings. The European model bringing in over four inches of rain over the course of the next few days. That's for Tuesday. The GFS model, a similar picture, and you can see both do bring an opportunity for rain to return back into South Carolina with that surge of tropical moisture, whether it develops or not. Then a shading of yellow from the National Hurricane Center off the coast of Africa due to a cluster of thunderstorms that are, you know, trying to maintain themselves, but not looking very organized with dry air and cooler temperatures in the waters there. It's about a 10% chance of development there for the next five days.